Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Aviators and Friends podcast. Uh, Casius is here with me, and so is Bait. Say hi, guys. Hello. Help the kid at me. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Shh, Bait. Remember, we we talked about that. You can't you can't say those things. We still. T- <laughs> you can't keep holding up posters in the window and hoping that people will come find you. That's why you got the handcuffs last time. Remember, and they're not going to be fuzzy this time. The smiling, the smiling hedgehog meets pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's been like a boss, man. <laughs> yeah, it has been far too long. I blame well, you, Avi. It, well, it was kind of my fault. You guys have been ready to record, and I was just like, no. Hey, game nights. Game night. That's right. I always felt like <laughs> gaming, and Dying Light came out, and we've all been very occupied uh-huh. with that. Yeah, um, so how many hours do you have in Dying Light, Casius? Oh, geez, I don't know. Uh, let me check really quick. It's, You're it's a, yeah, I've already beaten it. Um, yeah. I haven't done the thing. It's 36 hours, so not, yeah. that's not a lot. That's quite a lot. Oh, not for me. I mean, you should see my Skyrim hours. Oh, yeah, man. good lord. Yeah, like so 200. For those of you who you missed- only have 200 in Skyrim? <laughs> I haven't beaten the game, thank you. Wow. There's only one character I've been playing 200 hours. Yeah. I've been playing for 400 hours. I've beaten the game three times. Wow. Well, well, I take my time. Yeah, for anybody who uh, doesn't know, uh, we do a lot of gaming together, and uh, that's kind of how this podcast was uh, conceived, shall we say. Mm-hmm. And then bait him fight himself and, you know... Hey, yeah. I show up where I'm not needed, okay? Casey super- and I were just going to tell each other things and record it, and then Bate was there. Casey, why the- haven't we just gotten rid of him yet? I don't know. So, but why do we need you? I think we need to talk about it soon, because, you yeah. know, Bate oh, here, oh, he's oh. thinking stupider as we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, who are you going to replace me with? Fucking Jurassic? I'd like to see That's you. a good idea. We will replace Thank you, you with Brony Dance Party. <laughs> and the living tombstone, <laughs> and Britney Spears. For, uh, I like okay. that. That's right. I know Britney Spears, and she <laughs> will be on my podcast. Ooh, you heard it here first, folks. And Michael Jackson's ghost. Along with with the <laughs> clock, you, you can't forget. The clock. <laughs> oh my god, that would be fucking creepy. And they they, they <laughs> will make. They will make a song live together. A Michael Jackson and Tupac song here <laughs> on oh this my podcast, people. And Elvis. And it. Elvis. We're going to have it? Elvis. And Elvis, yeah. You can't forget Elvis. Elvis it's gonna, up it's in this be bitch. Kind of a, oh. Now, what, which Elvis? Is it, It's a country or rock Elvis? Kind of a little talk- bit. Let's have a country one because that would be great to have, hearing Michael Jackson and Tupac on a country song. With I Elvis. would. I, that sounds perfect. <laughs> it gets so that surreal. <laughs> we will have... Michael Jackson, Tupac, Elvis, and Betty White. Because <laughs> she's be basically best. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Betty White. Oh, they don't make fun of Betty White. Betty White, just because she's a walking zombie. Yeah. I mean, she's. Yeah. I guess she's doing all right. <laughs> doing all right. Everyone knows her name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good old Betty White. I miss the Golden Girls. Mm-hmm. She would kick your ass. Oh. What a good I'm show. not even kidding. That old lady will beat the shit out of you. Um, she kid. probably has bricks in her purse. Yeah. So that she can just, like, clock anybody who's behind her. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, she'll do, she'll do the Jewish mother act and make you feel terrible. That, yeah. See, that's, that's a classic old woman tactic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I th- I think we just completely ruin our listeners' brains. But anyway, <laughs> well, we c- tend to do that. Oh, I mean, listening so yes. to oh oh yeah, I forgot to put the disclaimer at the beginning. Uh, possibly listening to the Aviators and Friends podcast will indeed cause uh, mild brain damage, J- mild just brain mild. Damage. Uh, I, th- I I think fifty brain cells doesn't count as mild. <laughs> we you need don't that. you don't need those extra fifty. You're born <laughs> with like an extra hundred for for like you know. <laughs> for all the podcasts, it's, it's not like we're Wolverine and we can regen brain cells. <laughs> but well, speak I for think... yourself. I am personally Wolverine. So, oh really? Oh yeah, that's and true. Batman. <laughs> and Batman. <laughs> and I am Batman. both. Okay. 
I am Batman I, I, incarnate. I thought Skittle was the British Batman, but I guess I'm wrong. Well, well, I'm the American Batman. He's a British Batman. Uh, we so we have a division like, of labor, labor of labor. <laughs> we have a division is there, of labor. Is there a Batman Union? I'm not aware of. Divided. Is there like an Indian Batman? Can I join? There is probably an Indian Batman. I'm sure. Is his name Shadow Khan? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. So Bates, I think if you were the Indian Batman, all you would have to do is sit on the people, and they would give up. They're like, take take me in. Hey, it's hey. I'll be Buttman. I'll be the greatest superhero. Uh, yeah, you will know. be Buttman. Not that is Buttman. is is that? I feel is. Are you making fun of Indian people's accents? <laughs> Indian people's accents. <laughs> I'm Indian. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I know, but as you know, <laughs> I don't want you to be all. I am Buttman. And you know, you know, I don't want you to. <laughs> bimity, bimity, I am the Buttman. Yeah. See. What do you think? <laughs> we, it can go racist so easily. <laughs> he has a cave underneath the Seven Eleven. <laughs> To the butt cave! <laughs> oh my gosh. The 7 Eleven just opens up and, it, and the car just slides right in. Oh. Oh, so many Indian stereotypes in one sentence. <laughs> Robin oh. is just a cashier with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Robin, oh grab the Batmobile. <laughs> to uh, the Batmobile. Uh, uh, stop right there, Joker. You will not joke against me, for I am the Batman. None of your jokes will get past me, for I have the superior butt. <laughs> and uh, I will sit on you. And you forgot to play for your quickie. I mean, squishy. <laughs> quickie, <laughs> quickie. <is> quickie is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he forgot to play for his quickie. <laughs> Yeah, um, if, if you it, want the quick, you have to talk to Vag Girl, who's right outside. Does uh, Buttman have a have a side job here? <laughs> well, he works at the Seven Eleven, so yeah. <laughs> I thought uh, that was obvious. Good lord. <laughs> um, suddenly racism. Yeah. Well, the, the, we can <laughs> always kind of count on that. Um, yes. Yes. Well, I mean, it isn't a podcast without slightly offensive material. So, yeah. at least it's coming from bait because we can we can always claim that we're going to get rid of him. <laughs> uh, well, we, well, I thought my, we are. Oh, well, that's my, right. That's right. Ah. Skulls for the skull throne, blood for the blood god. Ah, that's right. We will. <laughs> bait and his demonic presence will be without. Um, w- they will be without. Just plain, they will have nothing. Uh, Only like five people will get that reference. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, moving on. Um, I guess we we had our brief talk about games. Uh, are there any games coming out soon that you guys are looking forward to? Monster I, wait, what? Monster, Ow. Monster, Monster Hunter. Is tomorrow. that a game? Yes. What is? <sighs> well, you probably mentioned that last time, and I just wasn't listening. Hey, um, but yours best tomorrow. If, if, you, if you know Majora's. Bates, he talks about Monster Hunter every day. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? Um, we should get and like play on the live stream sometime. Well, actually, I don't think it's uh, online, so that wouldn't work. But I could play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Broforce. Bro, for, oh, actually, um, I do have Broforce on the PC. That does have online. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, you can. There's an online mode right there. Oh, yeah, we should all play that then. Huh. Yeah. That would be amazing. Pro Force. I'm pretty sure because I saw people, you know, um, like search online for games. So. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, we sh- that would be a good game. I'd like to try. As far as like uh, upcoming games, there's really not much I'm looking forward to other than um, Grand Theft Auto Five. Definitely a big yeah, one. Of course. Casius pre-ordered that for me just the other day. Yeah, now, very now generously. You're, you're his butt slave now. I'm well, mad. no, I'm I'm his uh, singer slave. I have to <laughs> I have to make him a song the, now. You're the musical yeah. monkey. <laughs> I ha- I have to uh, please him monkey. with my mouth. I mean, with, <laughs> with my voice. Uh, Whoa, now. Uh, actually, I, I actually wanted to wonder that. What if you get a, like a blowjob for like an opera singer and she starts singing? Would you feel all the vibrations? <laughs> <laughs> You'd feel the music flow through you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like. Oh, no. But what if you didn't like opera and you had to have like Kanye West or something? I, uh, I, I think Kanye West would be very willing to suck people's dick. I, I, I yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> 
how the mighty have fallen. Yeah. Well, now that we've trash talked Kanye West, who's um, gonna kick our ass? Like just right. suddenly appear out of the blue. That's right. Oh, uh, now, Casius, did you have uh, a little activity for us? <clears throat> well, yes, I think I did. Oh my! And you're getting you're getting your sexy serious voice on. Shall I get my sexy serious voice on as well? Can, can I do my sexy serious voice? I Hello, lo- Governor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think my uh, testicles are now inside my body. That is <laughs> that is how unsexy that was. <laughs> they have descended wow. into just nothingness. Actually, actually, I got a game for us before we go to Casey. So let's, okay, let's play my. I want to play mine. Oh, okay. Wait, oh wait, we want to. You want to do your game first? Yes, we're gonna wow. play mine. Wow, eager beaver. Yes. Casius is Casius could just no. Your pathetic game could be last. I command it. Well, uh, fine. Okay. Yes. I don't we even shall... remember what your game was, so just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was basically we're gonna talk. Okay, we're gonna make a story, all of us, right? Yep. We're all gonna contribute at least one or two sentences. We'll call this like endless narrator or something. I'm okay. gonna start, but we have to stay on topic. I guess okay. That topic. <clears throat> <coughs> so wait, ev- every sentence has to be relating in some way to the topic? Oh, well, at least the beginning sentence, but it has to be connected to the last thing they said. So, okay. you know, we're, we're making a continuous story here. Okay, so, so there needs to be, like, like, like an, a protagonist, an antagonist. Yes. Uh, a better antagonist. Um, a better antagonist. Uh, what is he? <clears throat> oh, we need a protagonist. Like, bro, bro, bro. bro the protagonist. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right, so let me get my random. Oh, wait, actually, where's that random generator topic go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Our topic is television g- shows that go- have gone wrong. No, we already knew that one was coming. You did that earlier. Generate a new <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll <laughs> random. G- <laughs> I won't lie to our listeners. <laughs> we could have. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> they don't know this. They, they they don't they don't know what's going behind the scenes. Like I confessed my love for you, and you broke my heart, so I started crying for the last ten days. That's right. Yeah. All right. We'll generate a Good topic. Story. Okay. Oh, <laughs> genetics. Genetics. Okay. Yeah. All right. You start the story, mate. Um, in the year 3000, there was a bro scientist named Brosif who was really good with DNA and shit. Which way is it going? Yeah, which way? <laughs> oh, um, all right, I, I forgot to roll the dice. <laughs> okay, I'm Nick. All right, all right. You're Nick? And, and Brosif was a very blonde man who had women follow him everywhere he went. <laughs> That, that voice. <laughs> that, that was a Norse god or bro. What can I tell? I, th- I think I'm in love. No, wait, what? No. Okay, no, uh, no, no, no. And Brosif <laughs> did something. I, what was the topic? <laughs> Genetics. <laughs> Genetics. This has failed so horribly in two turns. <laughs> Okay, okay, keep going, Casey. We can do this. And Bro- <laughs> God dang it. Okay. And Brosif went on a trip with all of his women. They followed behind him. This was a research trip for genetics. <laughs> for, for, for genetics. <laughs> for the building of genes, but sadly, broke without children. So he grew 20 cells with his genetic engineering or geneticness in his basement. When he, but he still lived with his, because he still lived with his mom. But little did he know that there was another rising star in the genetic industry. And he was... George Washington. (laughs) (laughs) You go, baby. George Washington, the resurrected zombie DNA clone of George Washington, (laughs) has showed up to challenge Joseph to a contest of creating the best cybernetic clone sons. Having been recently brought back to life by Richard Attenborough, George Washington <laughs> approached Brosif 
for an alliance, but Brosif did not want any such thing. In fact, they became grave enemies, and war broke out in genetics, which would probably involve zombies or something. <laughs> in the war of genetics against George Washington, Brosif turned to a most unlike or most unlikely ally. <laughs> He found a tub of cocaine in his bathtub. And did <laughs> <laughs> super him. Superhuman perception, which allowed him to create his 20 super soldier cybernetic sons of destruction. Not questioning where the mysterious tub of cocaine came from, he simply built his cybernetic sons of destruction and commanded them to go destroy the Earth so that he would be the only one with any human genetics left. And then he snorted all the cocaine. <laughs> and then, as he was pleased with himself that he has conquered all the world with his mechanized robo zombie sun virus machigis, uh, suddenly the dinosaurs came out of the ground saying, We will now rule the earth with the, with the new <laughs> genetically altered zombie bone ro mecha robots. <laughs> and, and somewhere in a deep grave, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> rolled over <laughs> with a disapproving look on his face because life always finds a way. <laughs> the oh. end. Yes, we're ending it there. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh god, oh, I'm man. I'm laughing so hard I'm coughing. Oh. Uh. Well, I oh, think god. that I think that was a good fan fiction. I don't know what it was fan fiction for. I, but I, it has something to do with genetics. genetics. Oh, okay. And it's, somehow m robots and stuff came in. Yeah, I don't think we actually know what genetics is. <laughs> I don't think so either. Uh, uh, I, 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 I can just see the comments. You, you guys, genetics is like DNA and the passing of genes and all the other cool stuff. And we're yeah. going to be like, shut up. You yeah. shut your whore mouth. Yeah, but if we ended up like actually talking about Brosif and like passing on his genes, it would have just been porn. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, really? <laughs> which, really? which <laughs> on second thought, we could have just done, and it probably would have been better, but, yeah. you know. Oh, well, failed experiment that turned out to be somewhat hilarious for us. I mean, it oh. probably would have been better to just listen to Bait make sex noises for two hours. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, rubbing my nipples. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That that's was enough. the least sexy thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that that. That was a lot of fun and all, but I think it's time to get a little bit serious. Okay. Serious. Right. Yeah. Wait, wait. This is what I call story time with Cassius. Wait, isn't didn't we just do story now, time with bait? You need a yay. new name. But but the thing is That's copyright is, infringement. As you at, no, shut up. I copyrighted that shit ten seconds ago. <laughs> the thing is, I am a fan fiction writer. I, I, I enjoy writing a lot. I enjoy reading a lot. And I mean, you find a lot of a lot of calm in reading. So I want just a moment, if you if you both would, okay. just to sit down and read something. Ooh, ooh, just ooh. have some fun, you know. Just read. Can we light? Read, read, read. Can we light a fire and sit down in our robes? Oh, yeah, just yeah. a story. Uh, no robes, just completely naked with yeah. each other in a warm room. Just like that picture I drew for you. <laughs> That's okay, right. Okay, okay, Tell yeah. Me. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and let one of you, just to keep it interactive, let one of you introduce a story to me. Yes, yes, yes. I, this one absolutely is terrible, so I think it'll be funny. There. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Bait. That's my story. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, that's Memories by Cassius. Uh, good job. Yeah. Memories yes. by Cassius on filmfiction.net slash story slash 195281 slash memories. Visit today. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for that, David. <laughs> Support but now I, for only oh, 14 You know, I, I, I would read that, but you called it terrible, so no. No, we're not doing that. All right, fine. AV, do you have any stories for me? I, I do have a story. I would like to uh, share with you uh, a story that changed my life, and uh, yeah, just it's it's overall really great literature. And I'd like to see how long you can read it without giggling. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's see. I'm I'm always for these awesome stories, you know, of great literature. It's always great. That's and, right. 
Half-Life Full-Life Consequences. That's right. Okay, okay. I, right. I can do this. That's right. That's fine. And, a, and okay, a, okay, all right, all right. So, all right, we have we we're not going to put money on this, but if you lose at any point your serious and you know very sincere tone in any way, then you have to lose, and things happen. Things happen, huh? Wait, should we do it where if any of us, like all of us, have to be serious, or should you just have to be? Oh serious? God, okay. No, it, this, this, not- is, this is serious for me. Okay, this is serious for me, and I'm hoping this will be serious for you. Okay, now just sit down, relax, and enjoy the story. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> Shut there's up. a there's a good Sakurai spirits. It has to play it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Serious time. We're gonna be we're gonna be quiet and let Casius read as seriously as possible. All right, everyone, this is Half-Life, Full Life Consequences, Free Man. John Freeman backflips <laughs> I'm sorry, out. I'm sorry. <laughs> John Freeman backflipped oh. out of the sky and landed beside <clears throat> Henry Freeman. Henry Freeman Sorry's looked at John Freeman in the eyes and cry failed out and said, Dad, Mom has dead. <laughs> is that that thing from Xenoblade? What the fuck? John- Shh, don't interrupt. Shh. John Freeman went sad at the ground, then moved head real fast up. <laughs> Combines, you killed wife! John Freeman said with growl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John Freeman, the dark man said after Henry Freeman's mom is shot in head. <laughs> the dark man said again. <laughs> I loved wife like sun rays. Dark man, you will suffer. Racism. (laughs) Shut up, bait. (laughs) John Freeman pointed and yelled. John Freeman jumped to jumped into sky with kicks and hit dark man and the dark man mask ripped off. And John Freeman said, seed, ugly combine face, but it looked like human to to you mean you mean (laughs) you mean. The dark man scrumbled back to Combines, and Combines went to shoot John Freeman, but Henry Freeman throwed grenade for John Freeman to shot them in faces. How did you get grenade out of that? <laughs> I think that's I think that's like green green ad. Wow. Green ad. That sounds like a cereal. <laughs> yeah. That is grenade, but I'm <laughs> Ladies to, and gentlemen, try grenade aid. My mind cannot comprehend it very well, so it just goes to what is familiar. <laughs> okay. Now, shush, you two. This is serious reading time. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Where was I? Son, take people and leave the city. It's time I have to kill the enemies and make evil go away from here. Forced of time. John Freeman said to Henry Freeman and people. John Freeman, we fight, people said and didn't go nowhere. <laughs> Dad, humans have to fight for free dome. Henry the Freeman freedom. said the freedom <laughs> the freedom is where it's where they're now fighting it's, yeah. it's like the Thunderdome except they give freedom <laughs> that's right Henry Freeman said and didn't go nowhere neither John Freeman was afraid for first time he didn't want nothing to happen to Henry Freeman because Henry Freeman was John Freeman saw combines start to run like monsters to humans and Henry Freeman and saw Henry Freeman and hunt humans run like brave to combines John Dramatic F- pause. <laughs> Dramatic <laughs> pause. John Freeman got quiet, then dropped weapon. Weapon. We- I said, believe that's weepon. Weepon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Weepon. Then, then the dark man pressed the button that made the big tower glow and smoke. Smoking is bad. Smoke. Just saying. <laughs> John Freeman. You let next boss step on me and made me head crab zombie. <laughs> Combines came and put science in me and made me live and strong and big now. I make you and Henry Freeman head crab zombie prepare to die. Gordon Freeman said. I love the phrase put science in me. <laughs> it's like, it's that like, sounds, <laughs> that, that, I think that's what, you know, like female scientists say to each other when they're talking about dildos. <laughs> Or, or it's like it's like a pickup line from like MIT. Put yeah. science in me. Hey, baby, would you like to come to my place and experiment? Now, uh, if if you two are quite done, I would right. like to continue my story. Oh well, you 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 whatever snake. The story that 
A.V. so graciously gave to me to read. That's right. For oh, all God. the wonderful people listening. We're not even halfway through this, this nonsense. Go on. <laughs> oh, that is your fault, isn't it? Where was I? Uh, uh, okay. Gordon Freeman, you are my bro and I killed next boss. Combine science is bad and made you tricked, bro. Stop the button and glowing, John Freeman said. No, Gordon Freeman angered back. <laughs> Gordon, Fre- Gordon Freeman teleported <laughs> to John Freeman and hit him with crowbar. And John Freeman tried to grabe it, but couldn't. So he punched Gordon Freeman instead. Yeah, grabe, John- as, as in grabe Newell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the sad part is? This is a lot better than most of the college essays I've read. That's Well, I don't know. It's about on par with most college essays. That is true. Uh, Bates. Yeah. Stop talking about your own essays. I know you tried, but... How dare you? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Why, you're almost done. Place. Yeah, you're almost uh, done. Oh, no, you're not actually that close to being done. Oh. You got to crack up, man. Ah, here we go. I, I don't even know where I was. Thanks. You were, you were next I'm just to... i start right, right here. A, right after Grabe. <laughs> right after that little nugget Jump. of literature right. gold. Yes. John Freeman and Gordon Freeman was fighting for life and death when the Combines and humans started shotting each other again. <laughs> Are they like Buck spraying shit at each other? <laughs> Henry Freeman got in front of humans and saw the tower smoke and glow more and more like litning clouds. Henry Freeman shout, it will explode. <laughs> So Henry Freeman and the people shot bullets and bombs at combines so humankind could press the the button and make it stop. The button. The the Indian cousin of cotton. And shot all the combines in it and went to the top and used the torrent gun. Henry Freeman made the torrent gun shoot combines and bullets cut them in two and a half. (laughs) Two, Two and a half. So, yeah, no, like, is, this, is this where two and a half men came from? They shot bullets at. <laughs> yeah, they shot bullets at them and they made two and a half men. So they shot right. them so hard that the men reproduced and produced a child before dying. My God. <laughs> that's, that's what I call putting science in me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, keep going, Casey. Thank you. Henry Freeman kept shooting combines and the rest of humans got closer and closer to Button to stop it. The combine shot it, shot at the humans and made some, some made some die, <laughs> but no one cared because you, they had I, I sensed a crack up. Oh, <laughs> there's gotta be a crack up whenever I'm talking like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's trying to do a sexy, stupid, sexy snake voice. <laughs> made some die, but no one cared because they had to do it. Then combine started coming out of the hug tower and to stop the humans. There was too much combines and humans couldn't go to the button no more. And the tower was all smoke and glow. Now expect for a little bit. John Freeman knew it was too late for humans. Couldn't stop button. John Freeman had barley time, but was still fighting. It's barley time. (laughs) Bro, it's it is time. I'm sorry. John Freeman said to Gordon Freeman. Time for you to die, John Freeman. Gun Fr- Gordon Freeman said God, God Freeman. Also God known Freeman. as Morgan Freeman. <laughs> no, bro, John Freeman said, then kicked Gordon Freeman <laughs> kept part of the face that was like combines. The science flew off Gordon Freeman's face and landed <laughs> and blowed up in a boom, and Gordon Freeman stood... I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but doesn't the science sound like the name for semen? <laughs> <laughs> I, it just sounds dirty when he say the science flew off Gordon Freeman's face. It's just, what is the science? It's disgusting. I feel dirty. I, I, we have to ask Bill Nye. Yeah, Bill Nye, why are you the science guy? It's Did it happen in a gas station bathroom or something? <laughs> why are you the science guy? Now, are you done? Who put the science inside you? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Show us on the doll where he science you. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Bro. sorry, 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 we're done. Bro, <clears throat> Gordon Freeman said he <laughs> got closer to the ground like Gordon Freeman. Combines made me tricked, bro. I'm sorry, John Freeman, or Gordon Freeman said. I know, bro, but you are hero, John Freeman said back to Comfort. 
Florida. <laughs> oh, come hey, on. Fart. Hey, is that what happens when he comes inside of a woman's asshole and she farts? Whoa. Well, well, it's a cum fart. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, I was thinking more like a comfortable fart, but sure. <laughs> we could take this X rated. Yeah, I think it's too late. Oh, man. It's too late when we let Bates in here. That's right. I'm so fired. They yeah. stop sciencing all over us. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta push Shut the down. science up. Save humans and Henry Freeman. Gordon Freeman said quiet like pain and breathed slower and slower. John Freeman had Gordon Freeman and saw eyes shut and the breath stoped, but Gordon Freeman had smiles on face. <sighs> This this is this is the saddest part. It is sad. John, I'm feeling John Freeman, I'm feeling like Gordon something. Freeman go, uh, John Freeman let go Gordon Freeman and went up back on his feet and loped his head around and saw trees and aminals and humans. <laughs> then looked at glowy tower and knew what has to be done. Oh, not the glowy tower! Oh no, that's what I did. Son, and people get back. John Freeman said out real loud. So Henry Freeman front flipped off turret and went with people back to John Freeman and ducked bullets and rackets. Son, take people on motorcycle and leave city. Make people safe, son, and nothing happened to them, John Freeman said to Henry Freeman. But dad, I fight, Henry Freeman said. No, son, go with people, John Freeman said. So Henry Freeman and humans went on motorcycle. This has suddenly turned into The Walking Dead. I, 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 I can't even comprehend what he just read. Yeah, I, I, I like I don't even understand what this is about. It's like what even happened? Sorry, I sorry. Not- <laughs> we are interrupting, but you know. Yeah. Henry Freeman started on motorcycle and started to go, <laughs> but slow because he didn't want to. The combine saw and said, Stop the humans and I believe it's humans you'll find. Human hum- humans then. Are you happy? Yes. And went charge at motorcycle. John Freeman walked to two wards, combines, and made <laughs> fists with hands. John Freeman punched and hit combines in front, but all combines in back shot rockets and machine guns. And, and machine guns. <laughs> Does it shoot mass potatoes? <laughs> oh. A rocket hit John Freeman, but he got up and killed more combines. Then a combine went at John Freeman's back and stabbed him, but John Freeman got knife knife out and stabbed combine in brain in brain combines, com- in brain <laughs> he stabbed com- him in brain <laughs> as in combine. the batman villain brain <laughs> combines got close and hit john freeman body with bullets but john freeman kicked combines back john freeman kept fighting combines and put head up to tower and saw it go bright and break then turned around in last second and saw a motorcycle and fall off safe place and was happy. Oh. Henry Freeman and the people in the motorcycle saw the tower go like million stars and, f- <laughs> and loud noises. Then the people went down, but Henry Freeman kept going and didn't say nothing. Oh. After the world was nice and humans had new city and happy because the combine <laughs> was gone happy. and nobody was slave or sad. President Henry Freeman and people. President, I didn't vote for Whoa, him. Whoa, that escalated quickly. <laughs> President Henry Freeman and people and animals and Earth had peace. And in the middle of the in in the middle of New City was a statue that said John Freeman, saver of humans. <laughs> saver <laughs> of humans. That <laughs> that is. <laughs> I want. I want I wanted, I, I want that on my tunes I think down. that's my new religion. I'm going to knock on the doors and say, end. Sir, have you, have you invited John Freeman, saver of humans, into your heart? I, I really wish he misspelled humans as why, because then it'll be hymens. Oh, that would just be disgusting and terrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I that mean, that was I, terrible. I think I won. You Well, you did. You made it all the way without cracking up. I think you may have cracked up like once, but I couldn't it wasn't really definitive, so Well <coughs> my voice hurts right now. Oh, oh alright. Well, it's okay, no, no, just no, laugh. No, Let it, it go. In the long run, I'm like Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Was this was it honestly, was this written in seriousness or was it <laughs> Well I, 
If you really want to know, I think the guy that wrote it was using fan fiction to try to learn English. No, uh, I, think, I think that was actually literally it because. Oh. Uh, yeah. I well, he has a little enough. ways to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, oh, let's be honest. Maybe a little bit better now. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Maybe. This is an old story, I think. But, but in the end, we all have lost. Yeah. <laughs> <our> brain cells. <laughs> well, I lost brain cells the moment I met you, Bates, but, you know. That's, that's hey. a love song right there. When I met the moment I met you, I lost brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> is that what an alcoholic says to I, beer? I, I feel like you, <laughs> I, the moment I met you, I felt a tingling in my cranium, and I knew it was dying away. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so we have a third and final game, which is one we played last time, and the one I was in charge of, uh, which I thought was it was pretty fun last time. Um, so you guys get a chance to tell me uh, which uh, urban legends you think are true and which ones you think are complete bollocks. All right. We call well, this truth uh, or bollocks. All right. Shutting down the internet, except for Skype. Yeah, don't, so no don't Google. Yes. Yeah, don't shut down your internet. That, <laughs> that would be terrible. That, I don't even know how it would speak. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think um, my <laughs> Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Okay. I wish we had like some epic, like kind of creepy documentary music behind this. That would be, what I that'd be nice. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'll do that in post. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can you could you also add like a giraffe sound effect and an elephant? <laughs> Just African <laughs> safari. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Okay. Here are two urban legends that I'm about to tell you guys, and you have to decide which one is true and which one is false. Okay. A woman was once so horribly ill that when her blood was drawn, she poisoned every doctor in her hospital room. And the other urban legend is, Jedi is a publicly recognized religion in some countries and is practiced by over one million people worldwide. Second story. <laughs> I, I say second. You believe that's the truth? Well, yeah. there's a Jedi religion. I'm not sure how big it is, but um, they've been accused of pedophilia several times. So... <laughs> So, what, are you both voting for the second one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're both wrong. Jedi what? is Jedi is claimed to be a religion by some people, but it is not publicly recognized anywhere, and it is not practiced by over a million people. God, I knew it wasn't by a million people, but God damn, that sounded correct. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah. The, the actual truth is that a woman was once ill, that her blood was toxic, and it released uh, toxic gas yeah. into the air when her blood was drawn. God oh, damn. wow. So, that's like that's like a weird one-time case of like a woman being so sick she killed everybody. Damn, um, son. Yep. So, uh there's that. Huh. All right. So, next next set of two, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. There have been known cases of teeth falling into Coca-Cola at the bottling plants and then dissolving before anyone ever noticed. Or an escape artist once pulled a stunt by burying himself seven feet deep in a glass case. He was unable to get out and suffocated in front of hundreds of people in London. Oh, damn. Damn. That, that last one sounds very believable, but knowing you, knowing you, 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 tricks, you, you, are, you are a trickster. I, you are. I do. I, I know. I am known for making the false ones sound the most believable. Yeah. Damn, son. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and say the second one, because if you... Are losing? You said teeth. If you're losing teeth, well, that was the first one. The Coca Cola yeah, no, one I, is the I first know. one. Oh, oh, yeah, is that why? Is that why Coca Cola used to say now with calcium? Yeah, because <laughs> the teeth sold it down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, that's actually, huh? I'm still gonna go with the second one. So you're going with the escape artist being uh, buried I'm, alive in front of hundreds? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the second one too. Okay, and you guys are both right, and you're tied. Yes. There was actually an escape artist that once uh, died in front of hundreds of people at a show in London uh, by burying himself. God damn, that so, must have sucked. And while there is a common urban legend of teeth falling into Coca-Cola bottles and dissolving, uh, that has never been uh, a confirmed phenomenon. Well, so a, it is possible. I mean, you put a tooth in uh, Coke and stay there long enough, it will corrode completely. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it was believable, uh, but 
Right. Yeah, but it would, but that would take such a long time though with the single tooth. Oh, yeah. but of course, but he's the thing about the that uh, that uh, I was gonna say musician, but I meant musician, <laughs> the illusionist. Um, yeah, it was, since he died being buried alive, at least they don't have to you know hold the burying service. So right, yeah, you just yeah. <laughs> you just, you just shovel the dirt. Yeah, you just put a little cross on top and voila. Yeah. So pretty much the burial was or the uh, funeral was free. That's right. <laughs> yep. That's right. All right, plus, so uh, we have a uh, final set of urban legends here. Oh dear. Okay, you guys ready? This is good. You're both tied. Mm -hmm. You both have one correct. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's let's see uh, what you guys think about this one. All right, first one. There's a, there was a city in Japan spelled USA, which they decided to change after World War II, or Discovered during the French Revolution, decapitated heads stay conscious for several seconds, blinking and often making expressions of pain before the dying. The second one. That one. <laughs> I definitely think the second one. But no, I, I, uh, I'm hoping because I, I remember my French French teacher, well, you know, my history teacher talking about that. I forgot that one doctor's um, experiment where he basically took heads of the decapitated, you know, uh, you know, for the guillotines, right? And attached them to dogs and kept the head alive for a couple of days until they both died of blood poisoning. That's so, disgusting. Wow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just think with if, U USA, I, I, that doesn't sound like anything that. Um, would be in Japan. Well, it would be pronounced Yusa, or Yusa. Yusa. Oh. but it's spelled mm. USA, which they. I, I'm going to go after. to Guillotine story because I'm hoping my knowledge of the French Revolution is correct. <laughs> All right. Well, fortunately for you, Bate, it is correct. Ah. And there, yes, that that is true. That decapitated heads stay conscious for several seconds, and they do blink and make expressions of pain. Yeah, that's why we don't longer use it because you know it's not a humane form of you know execution. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. and uh, and the the thing about the second one or the first one in this case, um, there is a city in Japan spelled Yusa, but they did not change it after World War Two. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. So the urban legend there is that they were upset about the the bombings and they tried to change everything that remotely resembled American culture. Which is why where that uh, urban legend came from, but ah. but nope, that is not true. Huh. All right. Well, I win one for once. <laughs> yeah, you. Well, you guys are both tied, so I wouldn't really call that a win, but you know. Yeah. Oh, oh fine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you're tied. Womp womp womp. Womp womp, indeed. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> uh, I just felt like. Um, you cut off the brain, you're gonna die. Um, if you stop the heart, you'll probably live just for a few seconds until it's like, oh, well, fuck. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> yeah, that's probably exactly yeah. what went through his head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, chop. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> this is how I die. That's what the face they make is. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, Actually, do you, oh. do you think? Do you think the final thing? I, this is gonna be dark. Do you think yeah. the final thing that they think when uh, their head, you know, they get their head chopped off on the guillotine is not the face, but it's <laughs> on the ground? I think it's like I'm too important to die. No, and it's then, like it's like the at the <laughs> instant that uh, the guillotine hits down and their head just comes off. It's like. Oh, th their, their face is going to the ground, right? It's like, not the face! <laughs> uh, I'll bet you it's kind of like, wow, I feel so light right now. <laughs> it's oh, like, I lost so much weight. Is, is, yeah. is, this, is this what it feels like to be lightheaded? Yeah. Oh my wow, God. <laughs> that was a terrible pun. Yeah. Oh I'm, my God. I'm going to take a point away from you in the game for that. No, and award no, no. bait the winner. Uh, yes! <laughs> no. oh God. Okay. That's how I bad that pun was. <laughs> Actually, oh, well, this is one YouTube video. I, it was I forgot what anime. The girl gets her head chopped, right? And suddenly, it's like a it's like a fountain of blood squirting out of her uh, on the back of her neck. And suddenly, the song "And I'm Free." <laughs> <laughs> oh free. gosh! Like, that swing, and I couldn't stop freaking laughing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of an interesting thought. Like, like if you guys were to get your head chopped off tomorrow, what would you think your thought? 
immediately after your head was separated from your body would be? Um, I already got it. Somehow, somewhere, I immediately blamed Jurassic. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is Jurassic's fault? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I thought I well well I thought you were gonna go dirty like I hope people stay away from my mouth. <laughs> oh no, um, it's like no, I would actually enjoy that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well pleasure and death. Me, huh? I'm flat for me. Okay. The ultimate diet. The ultimate diet. <laughs> so I, I know. I just I just uh, I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> a great way to That's lose. That's not a, a diet though. That's chopping <laughs> off your body. Well, well and the fat goes with it. <laughs> well, if you're a zombie, I guess you wouldn't mind. I can just imagine like a, a, a weight loss infomercial for for guillotine. Now it's like the fat just falls right off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tired of your men constantly asking for sex? Introducing the mini guillotine. <laughs> oh my! Oh gosh! No, we're talking about a different head uh, <laughs> here. Exactly what I was thinking of. Mm. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. This got very dark. <laughs> of course. It, it involves guillot- it involves guillotines. I think it's gonna be dark. Yes. It. Well, we went from guillotines, guillotines, or guillotines, to uh, uh, penile oh. mutilation. I, I forgot to tell you. Somebody made an Oculus Oculus Rift game where you're in the French Revolution, right? You're 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 in the you're um you're in the guillotine, right? About to get head chopped off, so you're looking around, and as soon as you look up, the guillotine comes down and your head rolls. That is terrifying. Yeah. And all in Oculus Rift, baby, so you can see all that happening. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Oh. God I, damn. I really want to get an Oculus Rift, honestly. I yeah, really do. Too. Yeah, especially, uh, though, depending on um, uh, how much that retail version goes for. They said yeah. about 200 so it's it's not that anywhere between two to 300 I hope it's. I hope it's two or lower because I really feel like it's something that would be good for the gaming industry if it, if it kind of becomes like a standard piece of equipment. Yeah. But but I feel like it won't be if it's like two hundred dollars or more. I know I know that they're gonna try to get it down as cheap as they possibly can. Right. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, because the thing is, if they get people hooked on it, then they kind of get to sell them the upgraded equipment, like the Oculus Rift Two, and games are gonna start making more games for it. You know. And hopefully, I'm really hoping I can use it for like a third or second screen. Like I look over, and there's a screen right there where you know, I can use like make reference photos, like a well, sim- like a simulated screen. Yeah, well, that's like what uh, Microsoft is doing with their new virtual or virtual reality thing. Have you have you yeah, that, seen that? that? Yeah, that looks also kind of cool because I do like that. Like that would be so much useful if I could just look over to the left. There's all my reference photos and stuff there. Yeah, well, look at the. Theirs isn't even like virtual reality. It's augmented reality. So yeah. like you look at a table and put digital stuff on the table, which is insanely cool to me if they actually do it right. Yeah, I mean it's not going to be exactly like they showed in the um, in, in that commercial, but um, no, it's, it's not. Cool it's not going to be like Avatar. Yeah, but that would be cool though. Yeah. <laughs> well, I honestly think in the future, I mean holograms as we see them in future movies, mm-hmm. they they theoretically like. I don't think they theoretically exist. Like, there's no way to make lasers just bend in a shape, you know? Well, you can make a projection, but the problem is you can't make it solid. Yeah, like, exactly. I see people with holograms, yeah. I mean, you, you know the Star Wars style, like, hologram messages? Yeah. That's possible, but not, like, full-on, you know, animated holograms. You would have to have, like, um, like just glass, and then it would just project the, you know... It wouldn't be necessarily a hologram, it would just project an image. Yeah, it's and, just yeah. a projected image, and sometimes they can make it somewhat 3D if they use, like, smoke or something. Yeah. Um, or, like, or, like, a cube. But or like still, two, or like Tupac coming back to life with his. That's hologram. right. He will be hologram, with, and we uh, will Michael have him Jackson. with Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley and Elvis, Elvis Presley and Betty White. Yeah, yeah. And we've gone full circle. That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, well. Do we have some uh, some questions or something? That's true. Do we, we have actually any questions? have one surprisingly, and okay. I do read the comments, people. Do you do the pod- yeah, for I both don't. the podcast and the YouTube the YouTube sections. So, I actually found one question. All I'm right. not going to read the other question because 
You know why? All yeah. right. So, uh, who, what is this user's name? Um, Crescent Moon asks us, "How do y'all know each other?" That is a good question. <laughs> it's not really how do we know each other, but why do we know each other? That's yeah. I mean, you two have probably a fantastic oh. story. So go ahead. Well. It was a uh, moonlit night uh, in '87, and yeah. the bree- the summer breeze was blowing, and uh, and that wasn't the only thing that was blowing. And uh, oh wait, wait no. Um, uh, let's see. Let's. Were you wearing a red thong? <laughs> the minute I saw his red thong, I knew this was going to be quite a friendship. Oh. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, we all know each other, uh, from just randomly meeting each other online, really. I know Casius from, uh, I guess just, you added me on Skype once, and we just randomly started gaming together? Oh, I can, I can, um, uh, probably elaborate on that. So, back, oh, I don't even know how long it's been, like two, three years ago now? Yeah. Um... I was doing all of my. This is like when I was doing a lot of uh, music covers for different songs in the uh, oh, Birdie yeah. community, and uh, the very first song I had heard from this guy named Sound of the Aviators. Oh, that was a cool band. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I heard Never Back Down. Oh, my very first song from Aviators, and I went to him. I'm like, hey. Would you mind if I do an, a uh, a cover? Could we song? spend a, a summer night in the yeah. moonlight together? That's what you asked of me. Of course, I did that that cover, and then I uh, asked again. I said, "Hey, um, what if you had to choose out of any of your songs, what cover or what song would you want to have a cover of?" And you said, like, uh, "People don't usually do her darker side," so I did that one. Oh. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> oh, I've well. got good memory. Um, I see that. You go you go back far enough on Twitter, you'll see where I asked you, because I asked you on Twitter. Really? Um, but yeah, so th- I, that's where I first met him. I think when I actually started talking to him more, um, later on down the road, he, he did a, uh, a uh, remix contest. Like It was when you were doing that thing with Constellations and... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I forget <laughs> all the ones. I think, never, I think Never Back Down was one of them. Um, uh, no, it wasn't. But it wasn't. It no. wasn't. It was. Uh, what was it? I uh, never. Never mind. But uh, that, so I asked him. Uh, I was talking to him about that, and he had just brought out a song, um, the uh, "Love Is in Bloom" kind of extended remix or whatever you did. Um, and I was like, "What are you going to bring out an instrumental of this thing?" Because I wanted I wanted to do a cover of it. And you're like, "Why would I do bring out an instrumental of that?" <laughs> and so. From there, I started talking to him more, um, and that's pretty much how it all came. But I guess one more thing to add on to it. I didn't really start talking to you until Spongy. Because I met Spongy. I wanted to do a, uh, a song over uh, one of his tracks. I never actually did it. Oh, yeah. But um, he introduced me to you, and then we started gaming some how after that i, I, I don't forgot either. that it was spongy yeah, or, it was, or Willem, it was, i should say he's not spongy anymore yeah but yeah oh shh, 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 you're not supposed to say it's his secret oh. identity oh okay well you can uh, cut that out yep <laughs> and, and a bleep sound effect totally <laughs> not going to uh anyway and and how did we meet bait uh because bait is jurassic's friend that uh, was really loud and annoying, so we just <laughs> figured we might as well get used to his presence. <laughs> That's basically it. I just showed up out of the blue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, this is my side of the story. All right. So, yeah, so I got Jurassic because um, I really like. Uh, I got into the pony shit when uh, Discord show first came up. I was like, oh, cool. I really like this series, this, this right? But then I didn't have anyone to talk to, so I'm like, maybe I could trick Jurassic into liking this series, and I did. <laughs> so, uh, but he got really obs- obsessed into it right so i was like oh okay and then one day he uh, he showed me um one of casey's uh, uh cover arts i was like you know what i, ca- I was like i kind of like the idea and i was like i need an excuse just to mess with the pen t- 
tool and draw a pony. So I'm like, eh, I'll just do it for him. And then that's how me and Casey started to talk more often, and that's how that friendship formed. As for AV, um, because again, Jurassic was so deep into the fandom. He's like, hey, Bane, I met, I saw this one, you know, musician. They're like, all right. He's like, hey, um, I know you don't really like Brody music. I'm like, yeah, but he made this cover for uh, for Sonic Three and Knuckles. I'm like. Is, is this seriously going to be our bonding moment for AV? So he showed me the that remix, right? Like, okay, it's pretty cool. And then out of the blue, I got invited into the into the live stream, and all the thing I wanted to do was piss off AV because that's how I roll. And but he liked my style of hero. I'm like, oh great, I have a friend now. <laughs> and that's how that happened. <laughs> yeah. So no one can actually see this, but I sent a link to um to the art that he was uh, talking about when he met me. Right. He did the uh, the second version and the third version, and I guess if you want, you can put this in the description or well, not. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, people probably just. Uh, I, I guess I could leave it in. That's, that's but, uh, it's not. Yeah. It's anyway. That's. It's just a um, couple different versions of pictures of Casey's uh, cover art for one of his fanfics. So yeah. that hasn't come out yet. That's right. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that that answers that, and I think with that we are just about out of time. Well, so well, yeah, so uh, 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 any last words, folks, before well, I chop your heads off? <laughs> well, we are going to try to do this on a weekly basis. So thanks for putting up with us, um, and uh, maybe something special at the end of, at, at the end of the month. We're not sure yet because we're we're kind of doing this as we go along but uh thanks for listening and hope you faggots have a nice day <laughs> and wow. if i may uh add bait may not be here next week yeah i got fired yeah, yeah. we're gonna try Sorry, to get rid of bait hopefully we can have a replacement for him next week uh so because bait is really getting on our nerves <laughs> um we'd, we'd like him gone as soon as possible <laughs> all that stuff um so yeah he likes that guy yeah, nobody listens to the podcast for bait anyway. <laughs> it's, it's all about the AV, about the AV. <laughs> no, no, I think that everybody listens for Catius in his dramatic reading. Oh yeah, uh, well you know. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, with that, I thank you all for listening, and um, uh, yeah, please ch- uh, check back next week because we will try to make this a weekly basis, and uh, hopefully it'll work out doing that. Yeah. And, and I uh, can read the comments, so... Oh, yeah, and Bait, and Bait reads comments and will answer questions at the end of every episode. Or at the beginning, yep. whenever the fuck we feel like doing it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, so please leave all your questions. Uh, they can be random questions. They can have nothing to do with us. Uh, they don't have to have anything to do with anything at all. Yeah. Especially not ponies. They better not have anything to do with ponies. And, and if they're... Oh, God. And if, they're, and if you hate us, please leave a comment anyway. You, it'll be hilarious. Yes. All right. Well, that's uh, the Aviators and Friends podcast, everybody. Please join us next time. Bye-bye. Bye.